good everybody it's your boy eddie here and welcome back to the channel and i hope you all are having a wonderful day of today's video we are reviewing a sneaker that i am very excited about and it is a well sought after sneaker especially after that sneakers l's that matt people just took just now but before we even continue guys please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell and what we got right here is none other than the kobe 8 pro tro and the venice beach colorway and guys definitely let me know what you think about the sneaker in the comment section down below is it a cop or drop to y'all i definitely know the answer because this is absolutely a cop it is so amazing i love the details on it as well as the colorways and it has some significant history to it and it's been about 11 years since the sneaker last released and i'm very happy that although a lot of people did take l's a lot of people are also able to get w so it's the balance of the scales and i think every release now with the kobe's nike's making more and more stock so eventually people are going to be able to probably walk into stores and pick up the kobe well let me correct that because the way these are so profitable right now, it probably won't be possible because there's always gonna be bot, there's always gonna be resellers and all that type of stuff, but you know it is what it is on that, guys. So let's just go right into the box details. And what we got right here is our standard Kobe Pro Tro box in that all black Mamba skin with the raised scale details, which I truly love. And then we do have our sword and shield Kobe logo right there, as well as Kobe signature. Then when we go into the side of the box, you can see the sticker tag right there. And it does read off as Kobe 8 Pro Tro. And the colorway shown is stadium gray and metallic silver. And I'm actually shocked about that because there's so many colors going on on the sneaker other than the stadium gray and silver. But it is what it is on that. It's not that important. But then when it comes to sizing, guys, I did go a half size up. So normally my true to size is a size 8. However, I did cop the sneaker in a size 8.5 and they fit absolutely perfect. Kobe sneakers are always going to have that sock like fit just due to the fact that it is a performance based sneaker. So that's why I would recommend if you are semi wide to wide footed, always go a half size up. Maybe if you are extremely narrow footed, you could get away with true to size, but that's just something that I personally would take a risk with. Also, these sneakers are very hard to find in stores right now, which contradicts my initial point, but I corrected that. So definitely, I would just say go a half size up to be safe. And now in opening this box right here, you can see that we do have an all black box with that white wax tissue paper, which looks absolutely nice on the sneaker. But now guys, let's just briefly go into the history of the shoe. So as you guys may have seen, three Kobe sneakers actually came out today, which is very interesting to note. That hasn't happened in probably ever, or at least a very long time, but there's a significant reason why they chose these three sneakers. So if you guys are not familiar with Kobe's history, he was born and raised in Philly, then moved to Italy with his dad because his dad was also a professional basketball player. And we're looking at this Venice Beach colorway that's obviously an ode to LA and how Kobe was able to move there, play basketball, and just emerge with the LA culture and become an LA icon, even though he's initially from Philly. But what I also like about this Venice Beach colorway is the fact that Venice is a city within the country Italy. So I love how everything just comes together and kind of just pops off and shows like, hey, he started in Philly, moved to Italy, then moved to LA, but there is some Italian roots in there as well. So I love that. But with that being said, guys, this is also the Kobe day because this is the day that Kobe played his last game versus the Utah Jazz and dropped 60 on the head top. And obviously that was the last game that Kobe ever played in the NBA, which is so sad to see, but you know, everybody's time comes. LeBron is probably retiring soon in the next two or three years, which is crazy to say. But with that being said, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude all the history about the sneaker. So now I'm focusing on to the details of this beautiful Kobe 8 Pro Tro. You can see that it is primarily made out of this Nike engineered mesh in that multicolor, which consists of red, teal, yellow, green, and metallic silver. And it just looks absolutely awesome on this shoe. Now I'm focusing onto the toe box. As I mentioned before, we do have more of that engineered mesh right here with that multicolor detail. But then when focusing onto the mud guard, we have this kind of, I don't want to say tape, but it's kind of like this plastic mud guard detail. Then when going towards the top of the shoe, now you can see that we do have this multicolored lace right here. And it's primarily yellow colorway, but it does have this orange reddish polka dot details. Then when focusing onto the tongue of the shoe, you can see that it is in this metallic silver right here. And then when focusing onto the top of the tongue tag you can see that we do have that kobe sword and shield logo right there which looks absolutely awesome on the shoe and then when you just flip that tongue over you can see that we do have some more teal details which looks really nice then when focusing onto the lateral side of the shoe right here guys this is one of my favorite details so obviously as i mentioned we do have that engineered mesh on the upper and that multicolor detail however when focusing onto that nike check we do have it in this 3m detail with a yellow outline and that just absolutely makes the shoe pop so even when the 3m isn't hitting it does have that yellow outline which looks absolutely 
absolutely awesome on the shoe. Now, when going on to the back heel area of the shoe, now you can see that we do have Kobe's logo right there, which looks absolutely amazing again. Then when going into the back heel area now, you can see that we do have the Sword and Shield logo and that 3M detail, and the shoe just pops a lot. And I think not only is this going to be a great basketball shoe, but it's also going to look awesome. So that was the greatest thing about the 2010 to 2014's Nike basketball sneakers. All of them looked great on feet for performance, but also for style reasons. And I think again, the Kobe is just so versatile when you look at the six through eight. I even like the nine and tens, but not everybody's too crazy about them sneakers, but they're awesome. I think Kobe has some of the best Nike basketball sneakers of all time, but that's just my opinion on it anyways. Now, when going on to the medial side of the shoe right here, you can see that the same thing pretty much follows too, so there's nothing to report on that. Now, when focusing onto the midsole of the shoe, you can see that we have it in this teal detail. However, there is some icy blue details that go across the toe cap of the shoe, as well as the outsole of it. So when focusing onto that outsole, you can see that we have that beautiful carbon fiber shank plate, as well as that icy blue sole with this unique Kobe 8 traction pattern. It looks absolutely awesome on the shoe. And then we do have that other Sorted Shield logo right at the heel of the shoe, which looks nice. Something else that I wanna know about the technology in the midsole is the fact that the midsole is actually removable like this. So on this pair, it's in this green detail. And on the original Kobe 8s back in 2013, it was actually made out of that Lunar Lun material. But in 2024 for this Pro Tro, they are using Nike React, which you can see right there, which feels absolutely amazing, comfortable, and is just a great ride. Something else that I wanna know on the details of it is that we do have this 8 right here, but it is cut off and it would actually kind of look like a unique Infinity logo. But I do love how involved Kobe was in designing these sneakers because you can see all of that Mamba S feeling to it and it's just a great shoe overall. I love this one specifically. This is probably one of the better Kobe 8s. Again, when I did that review in February for that emerald green pair, I wasn't too crazy about it to be honest guys, but this OG colorway is absolutely a return to form and just has me excited for what's to come for the Kobe 8s in the future. Also, one more final thing that I wanna mention, guys, is the fact that we do have Kobe code right here. And what it actually says is chase perfection across the back heel area of the shoe. So again, guys, if you are not familiar with the Kobe codes, it's this braille looking detail in the back heel area of most of the Kobe sneakers. And it doesn't have that braille feeling to it. But if you actually search this up, you would realize that this is actually a code and that's how unique Kobe was. I don't think any other sneakers are doing these kind of hidden messages on it. And right now it's actually kind of hard to find the Kobe code. I was looking through my other videos that I edited and I couldn't find where I put it in the video, but I know I did put it there. But if you look it up, it'll take a couple of minutes. You'll eventually find a Reddit page and you'll be able to find all the letters in the alphabet that is relevant to the Kobe code. And then you'll be able to actually see what the back heel area of your sneaker is because on each colorway it's different. So that's just something else to know right there, guys. And then before we finalize this video, guys, I do wanna mention one more thing right here. So if you actually can see, it might be hard to actually see on the camera, but there are actually four different logos right here on this translucent area, and it actually stands for something. So one is speed, one is focus, one is accuracy, and one is vision. And that is all of the play styles that Kobe played with. So I really do love that that detail is on the sneaker as well. So with that being said, guys, that's gonna conclude the review as well as the awful look. So now let's get right into this awful look, all right? So that's going to conclude the review as well as the awful look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about this Kobe 8 Pro Tro in the Venice Beach colorway. I think it's an absolute awesome return to form. It looks great. It feels great on foot. And I'm sure if you guys who actually wanted to keep this shoe and not resell them and wear them as a hoop shoe, you will be absolutely amazed with what you're getting with this sneaker. So other than that, y'all, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family and all that. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.